a lot to sort of deconstruct. Um, I wrote a Forbes article, go hit at Willtown Tech um, or our firm's uh, Twitter handle as well. And you can read more about it. But, you know, Pat, I know you were there and you're going to sort of talk about your big takeaways. But for me, there were two really big things. One was security. Shocking, right? Matt was talking about how that was a focus for Lenovo as well. But this is an area that, that Cisco has sort of half-stepped um, over the years. But, you know, it was really amazing. I don't know. I'm sure you picked up on this in, in the keynotes. I mean, all, including Chuck and his ELT, everyone talked about security. Jonathan Davidson, uh, GT Patel, uh, Liz and Tony. Um, and this is a real big focus for the company. And, um, and if you look at um, last quarter's earnings, um, there was only 2% growth in security for Cisco. So there's a lot of headroom for Cisco here. So in supporting that, there were several announcements, uh, one around a secure access solution. What I like about that, it supports legacy VPN as well as zero trust. Um, um, they have a firewall product um, that I believe finally they have a, in a firewall product that sort of uh, meets the, the rest of the competition. Um, they have a multi-cloud defense um, solution as well. And then finally, something that I was involved in, um, I worked with Cisco to write sort of an explainer around cloud native application protection platforms. And they use that as a launching point for, for Panoptica. Their, their CWPP solution that they're moving more towards a holistic um, CNAP solution. So a lot around security. Um, this fits really well within Tom Gillis, uh, his return to Cisco and the focus on a security cloud. Um, I did spend time with Tom and the team and there's more to come. And what they're really focused on is they're not gonna be all things to all people, but what they hope to do is put together, you know, several security solutions that um, address, you know, a good majority of customer need because we are seeing this consolidation with a uh, security tool sprawl, customers are kind of coming back to front and center. They're, they're not necessarily going to standardize on one platform, but moving from 40 to maybe half a dozen is better. And so Cisco is very focused on that. So that's my big security take. The other big news um, in, in my coverage area was around uh, their enterprise networking portfolio. And one of the challenges that Cisco's had has been most of their um, growth um, over the last several years has been through acquisition versus organic roadmap development. And so as a result, they've collected brands over the years, um, like Viptala, like Meraki, like AppDynamics, like Thousand Eyes. And so um, one of the big announcements um, at Cisco Live 2023 US was around their announcement of a simplification strategy. And so um, they're gonna lean into initially Meraki and Catalyst. So the Viptala brand is gonna go away um, they're going to they're, they're also doing some things from an automation standpoint to sort of clean that up. And that's been one of my criticisms, because through all those acquisitions, Cisco has acquired two or three different automation tools. And so um, there is an effort um, that's underway to sort of centralize from an API perspective what they do with automation and be a little more uniform across the entire networking stack. Um, they are very. They were very transparent and honest about this. This isn't going to be an overnight transition for them. This is likely a three to five year journey for Cisco. But um, I think it's it's uh, it's time that they did this because I believe at the end of the day, if they can simplify the portfolio, they're going to make it easier for their partners to sell their solutions and easier for their customers to consume their solutions. So that's what I'm going to take. No, it's great take, and I think I'm going to focus on. I'm going to focus on the company's strategy. So by looking at uh, when you look at their financials, they're very much a networking company still. Right. If you look yeah. at uh, the two elements uh, of that, uh, but that 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 I don't think is a weakness, because when you're pushing over the last five years, uh, minimum gross margins were 61 percent and maximum gross margins were 65 percent. It's a really good business. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, especially because for the most part on the core switch, uh, they held off, you know, they 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 held their position. Right. So uh, in yeah. a way, they're really only being challenged uh, at the edge. Right. By folks like Aruba and not that folks like Arista and Extreme 
and Juniper uh, aren't selling a lot. They're just not nearly selling anything near what 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 Cisco is. And, and what I like about it is that okay, they're they're using this core strength that they have in uh, in networking, and then they're they're really addressing two two separate things. First of all, making money in the hybrid multi cloud, and then simplification, just like you said, Will. Yeah, and and it's taking security, observability, and network cloud, and being able to make money regardless of where the compute sits, right? Mm -hmm. um, taking a toll, whatever you want to call that, and for observability and security, people are sick of the complexity, right? They want more of an easy button, and in security, as you know, Will, this is your swim lane. Yeah, there's two ways you you, you can uh, you can approach this. You got best of breed over here that needs integration. And let's say you've got 50 software packages in the enterprise, you have to integrate that. Or uh, those best of breed are part of, of, of a network, a security network. Um, Palo Alto Networks has, has, has one of these. Well, hey, they've got multiple vendors that are plugged in with APIs, you can share the data. Uh, and it's not as hard to take full advantage of it. Or you go with kind of a full stack uh, that's from Cisco and, and and Microsoft. And, you know, I think best of breed will continue. And I think uh, yeah. in reaction to what folks like Cisco and Microsoft are doing, uh, we'll have to have more data sharing alliances and ways to make things uh, easier. 